Froggy Stuff posted a video and they made a cute little veggie tray. So I was inspired to build on that idea by making a deli tray for our next doll party. We're going to be needing a water bottle, ribbon, craft foam, beads, glue, craft paint, a toothpick, paper and a hole punch, the hot glue gun, Mod Podge, and gloves, which are optional. I don't mind getting messy. First, we're going to cut the bottom off of a water bottle, and that is going to serve as our tray. Then we're going to take yellow craft foam paper and cut out little squares. That's going to be our slices of cheese. I took a lighter shade of yellow paper, and to make it a Swiss cheese, we're going to use a toothpick to poke holes through. Then we're going to use glue to arrange our slices of cheese. Then we'll use our hot glue gun, apply it to our slices of cheese, and then glue it into the tray, like this. Now we're going to take about six inches of ribbon to make our meats and we're going to be using paint to paint them and that's where the gloves come in because it gets really sloppy with the paint. We need pink, beige, and white paint. We're going to apply large drops of glue onto our ribbon and from there we'll fold the ribbon in half and begin to roll it downwards. We want the paint to soak through the entire ribbon and when it's done it has this really cool textured effect. We're going to set that down to dry and work on our ham. We need pink, beige, and red paints. We're going to apply the same technique and for a little extra dimension I'm putting a little bit of white on the tip. It gives it that nice marbleized look that uh, the meats have. We're going to do roast beef with pink, brown, and red paint. And I'm going to add a little dark brown to the ends for that uh, marbleized effect. Once the ribbons are dry, I'm going to cut it in half to make two. And from there, I'm going to actually fold a little pleat into the ribbon. And I'll apply a little hot glue to secure the pleat in place. Then I'll continue to make pleats in a ribbon. And when I'm done, I'll apply hot glue to the ribbon and then glue it into our tray. And we'll do it again with the second half of the ribbon that we cut. So it looks like sliced meat. Next we're going to make salami by using brown, burgundy, beige, and white paints. And we're actually going to use a piece of red or a brown craft foam paper. We're going to use the same technique by applying the, the drops of paint. And then we're going to use our blotting technique with the brush. And when that's all dry, we'll use our hole punch to punch out little holes. And after I glue them together, I'll use a small little bit of white paint and a toothpick to put little dots on there. So when that's done, I'll hot glue it and then place it into our tray. And now our tray is complete with all the meats and cheeses. But we want to put something in that little empty space in the middle. My Froggy Stuff has a cool video about how to make lettuce. So we made the lettuce leaves and we glued them to the center of our deli tray. And lastly, we're going to mix a little glue with black paint. Mix it up and we're going to put it in the center of the deli tray with a few black beads to be olives. And when we're all done with that, we're going to cover everything with a layer of Mod Podge to seal it. And when that's dry, we're all done. But in addition to our meat and cheese tray, we're going to add a fruit tray and a veggie tray. So using the same bottle cap 
to make our fruit tray, I used a pink sponge to be watermelon. Yellow sponge makes pineapple. A green sponge makes the nice melon. For grapes, I used purple and green beads. And then I did a previous video on how to make strawberries. So we put that on our veggie tray as well. Now for our centerpiece in the center, we're going to use a bottle cap and apply it to the center. But since the center is raised a little bit, the bottle cap won't fit. So you have to be very, very careful when you do this. But I am going to use the hot glue gun to actually burn a hole into our bottle cap. You have to be very, very, very careful with this. But the heat from the glue gun is going to open up a hole in the bottom of the bottle cap. And once the hole is large enough, it's going to uh, fit very nicely into our tray. Once the bottle cap is glued on, we're going to use a little toilet paper, glue, water, and a little craft paint to mix that up. When it's all mixed up and dry, it'll be a nice little strawberry yogurt. Next, for our veggie tray, we'll be using the green pipe cleaners chopped up to be broccoli, orange crab bone to be carrots, green to be celery, and for our cherry tomatoes, I used modeling clay and I made all the little circles. And for the dipping sauce, I just used the toilet paper, glue, and water with a little white paint. Thanks for watching. Please leave comments and tell me how it goes.